Amber's here. Wild Brumbies are here. Shawnee's here. Yeah. Okay, do new adventure. We go on an adventure every day now, don't we? It says you haven't filled up my bowl yet. We can't go anywhere. Bowl's empty. This is what happens when you don't have a tack box on your Brumby float and you have to make a spare seat for Amber. Hey everyone, so it is about day 117, maybe 118 and we're heading out to Amber's house to just get the Brumbies exposed to another environment. Two wild Brumbies on another Brumby adventure. Oh, you don't have a hay bag. Only Dangles has a hay bag. So we've just arrived at Amber's and then she says, oh, by the way, the indoor's going up today. Well, Brumbies, welcome to the environment. That looks like Clumsy. What happened? What happened to Graham? Graham turned into Clumsy. I told you, it's really hard to keep weight off. In the patterns class last year, they had white barriers that went round the outside of the dressage ring. This year we're going to be a little more prepared. Did you ever think we'd end up here? Fighting wild rumbies on Amber's arena. Hello. Hey Amber, yeah. what happened to your saddle? You um upgraded there a little. This is just keeper. It's keeper CDR. Okay, and what's good about your new keeper? The all stop saddle was blocking up his shoulder. Yeah. And we got into a point where I couldn't really do much with him because he wasn't really willing to go forwards anymore. Right. So we swapped into this so that he can move around. Because he was blocked up, that's why he wouldn't go forward. Yeah, he was all blocked up. He could go forward, but he wasn't going to move forward. Yeah, okay. I can tell, look at him. New environment, new saddle, and the horse is more relaxed than ever. I'm putting it down to your good training. <laughs> We've finished with the most important part of any float trip. Coffee and float time. Coffee being the most important part. 